Let's take a moment to reflect on the tech landscape of the past two decades. We often hear the phrase, this time is different, especially when discussing emerging technologies. But are we seeing a genuine shift with generative AI? Or are we merely witnessing the echoes of previous bubbles, like the infamous dot-com bubble? To understand this, we need to dive into some numbers. The growth of generative AI users is remarkable. Currently outpacing internet user growth in the late 1990s, but this comparison falls short when we consider the barriers to entry. Back then, accessing the internet required substantial investment in both hardware and service subscriptions. A compact ProSignia desktop cost around $2,699, which translates to about $5,100 in today's terms. In contrast, today's generative AI tools are often free requiring little more than an existing internet connection. This accessibility has led to a surge in users trying out tools like ChatGPT. But the key question is, does this widespread use translate to tangible economic benefits? Economists at the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis have examined the relationship between generative AI usage and labor productivity. However, we need to scrutinize this correlation further. After all, just because people use social media platforms extensively, it doesn't mean their productivity is improving. Often, the opposite is true. The reality is that while generative AI offers the potential for productivity gains, it hasn't yet demonstrated significant measurable impacts on the economy. The costs associated with developing generative AI are astronomical, with estimates suggesting that training these advanced models can run upwards of $100 million. When we factor in the required infrastructure, expensive chips, talent, and substantial energy resources, the economic returns seem minimal. Take the example of Joanna Stern's JoannaBot which aim to assist users in making informed decisions about tech upgrades. Despite being useful, the project was costly, rivaling the expense of a luxury vacation. This raises an essential question. For generative AI to pay off economically, it must generate enough revenue to cover these steep costs. David Kahn of Sequoia Capital estimates that we need to see about $600 billion in annual revenue for generative AI to justify the current investment levels. Yet, current revenue figures for major players like OpenAI and Google fall woefully short, highlighting a potential misalignment between expectations and reality. In fact, As reported by the New York Times, open AI projects are staggering loss of $5 billion against $3.7 billion in revenue for the current year. Even with significant investments to keep operations running, we're witnessing a valuation that's reminiscent of the dot-com bubble's unsustainable heights. When we draw comparisons between generative AI landscape and the internet boom, the numbers tell a telling story. In 2000, the internet generated over $1.5 trillion in revenue, adjusting for today's terms. In contrast, generative AI is on track to generate less than $10 billion. If this bubble bursts, it's poised to make a substantial impact on the tech economy. As we analyze the adoption rates of generative AI, The real-time population survey indicates that nearly 40% of the U.S. population aged 18 to 64 has engaged with generative AI in some capacity. This rapid uptake surpasses the adoption rates of personal computers and the internet at the similar stages in their development. This highlights an intriguing dynamic. While generative AI is widely adopted, 
its integration into daily workflows, and its effectiveness in improving productivity remains to be fully realized. Users leverage generative AI for a myriad of tasks, from writing communications and searching for information to coding and customer support. This diversity in usage underscores its potential as a general purpose technology. However, while initial studies indicate that generative AI could enhance productivity by a median of 25%, estimates, estimates suggest that its overall impact on labor productivity may only be between 0.1% and 0.9% of current usage levels. So, is generative AI a true game changer, or are we simply witnessing the rise of another tech bubble? As adoption accelerates, the real test will be whether it can transform productivity and provide the economic value that justifies its heavy developmental costs. The implications are profound, not just for technology companies, but for the entire economy.